Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Learning Objective C with me, Chris. So today we're going to be talking about class declaration and how to create a new instance of a class. Hey guys, so you'll notice that the font size is huge now, so I hope you guys can all see this. And I'll make sure that I upload my videos in 1080p. So today we're going to be talking about class declaration and this is another this is just a new project that I created in Xcode. You can either create a new one yourself or you can download this exact sample project in the link in the description. So I want to point out that a class in Objective-C is made up of two files, a .h and a .m file. And the .h file, as you can see here in viewcontroller.h, is the interface for your class. And here you would put all the method declarations, the property declarations, and the variables that you would want other classes to be able to um, see and interact with. And in your implementation file, you would go ahead and implement those methods. Now let's go through creating a brand new class ourselves. So in this project navigator, you could right click and go new file and it has a couple of different things you can create here so go ahead and do objective C class okay so you can type in a class name you can call it um, you know my class and for subclassing you can choose you can choose something like UI view UI view controller now explain what those are in a future video but you really want to choose NS object for now NS object is the kind of the root class of most class hierarchies in Objective C. And if we want to create a class, let's say a helper class or a class for some data manager or for our models, we would use NS object. So I'm going to go ahead and put it in my root directory. So as you can see, Xcode created two files for us, myclass.h and myclass.m. Now let's go ahead and declare an instance of my class in view controller. So go to viewcontroller.h and we're going to need to let viewcontroller know about our class. So we need to import the header file for our class. There we go. And in the implementation file, we're going to declare a new instance of it. Oh, I can't type today. Okay, so uh, declaring a variable to store our class. So we're declaring a new pointer, my class, and right now it's nil because we haven't assigned anything to it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go class name space alloc and you can it see it returns um, an ID type. So remember from the last video that that is an object reference. So what the alloc method does is it allocates in memory space for an instance of my class and it returns an instance of that. Okay, so the standard practice after I allocate uh, an instance of my class is to call initialize on it. And this method, init, is already in the base class, NSObject. Remember, we subclassed NSObject. So by default, uh, in NSObject, the initialize method doesn't do anything, it just returns itself. But what you can do in my class, the class that you created, is to override the init method with any you know uh, variable initializations or method calls that you need to initialize your class um, so there you go now instance of my class would be ready to use now instead of writing this in three lines um, the common practice is to do it something like this so a class another instance equals my class alloc in it. So you can kind of chain method calls like this. 
alloc returns an instance of my class and you're calling init on that instance. But we're getting a little ahead of ourselves because in the next episode I'm going to talk about declaring methods and calling methods. But you kind of get a preview of it here. So that's it for this video. I want to thank you guys for letting me know that it's hard to read the text on the screen because it's only with that sort of feedback that I can improve these videos for you guys. Now the next question I want to ask you is would you rather me type as I did in this video and then I'm explaining the stuff as I'm typing it or would you rather me have everything typed out beforehand and just explain it to save some time. So let me know in the comment section below so that I can tailor it the way you guys want. Now for your fun fact of the day. Did you know that the first iPhone was actually invented in 1983? Well, it's actually a prototype and apparently there were many prototypes after that. But this one looks kind of cool. So here's an image of it. It looks like an iPad with a phone put together. Now do you think in 1983 that this would have taken off as the iPhone did in this age? Well let me know in the comment section below. And I'll see you guys next time.